Hey Pisces, what's going on? We're here with a timeless reading. Welcome. All right, we are starting off with the chariot. Chariot's definitely a high note to be starting off with. Looks like moves are being made and quickly. This is definitely going to be a time of action. Having Chariot and having Knight of Wands can mean that there were certain things that needed to be dealt with. And as it looks like those things have now been dealt with, it looks like you're going to be able to make some type of move that you've been wanting to make. At the same time, I'm seeing Temperance. So even though you may be beyond certain barriers, it feels like it's still very important for you to be mindful of the moves that you're making. So there not, may not be anything like directly blocking you and maybe nothing like outwardly blocking you from doing what you want here from moving the way that you want to move but having temperance can show you still needing to be mindful of the moves that you're making from a place of like mindfulness and self-control is what this feels like because maybe stuff was going on before externally where like you didn't have the option like you weren't able to do something or to make certain moves now it feels like whatever those barriers were they're not a thing anymore like you have actively overcome those things they have like fallen down or you moved past it or you worked your way around it or through it whatever now at this point this feels like even though you may not have these things that are like nope like x here you can't move through this it feels like still needing to use your discernment with the moves that you're making and that being very important with temperance You may want something to go quickly, but you have to be patient with it. It feels like this is taking time. There can be a part of you that really is like, I'm seeing you in a fast energy right now. So you can be like, why can't like things be catching up with my speed right now? But I'm seeing that you're being urged to be patient with something that's going on right now. Some type of process that you're currently involved with. So even though you may not have like barriers or anything holding you back, it feels like time or something like that is maybe making things go slower than you would prefer at this point. But this definitely feels like your guides being like, just be patient right now, wait this out, go allow the process to unfold. Part of you that doesn't wait want to wait anymore though okay I'm seeing two different things here when I see Knight of Wands and Temperance and Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Wands can want to move quickly and not want to have to wait around and just like get things done or I'm inspired to do this or like I don't want to have that responsibility, like that type of thing. Temperance is about needing to ground the energy and needing to also be sort of grounding the impulsivity to make sure that you're taking the time with the things that you're involved in to actually be nurturing them properly even though there can be a part of you that's like i don't want to nurture it today this feels like reminding yourself of like what you're doing and what you have going on then and like i don't know how this is connected yet 
I'm also seeing Eight of Cups and I'm seeing the Death card. The word Death Star is coming through. This came through a really, really, really long time ago. I feel like it's connected with Star Wars or something. I've never seen Star Wars, but I remember having to do with something like that. I don't remember what it means, but I'm getting something along the lines of that coming through. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry, I don't have context for it, but if that holds meaning to you, it means something here. What I'm seeing with Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups is you looking at something and being like, I'm not happy with this, among other things, but that's sort of the, ge the gist of it for the purpose of this reading here. And having then death card can mean, well, because I don't want to be here doing this anymore, or I'm not feeling... I'm not feeling connected to this or I feel like I'd be better off elsewhere. Death card can mean that if you leave something, if you walk away from something, there will be a fin a finality to that. That's what I'm seeing. Like this will be something that if you decide to leave, you will never be able to go back. It's like that's what this is. Like if you leave, this will be like that bridge will be burned and there will be no going back into that. And I don't know if that's gonna sound like a good thing to you or a bad thing or whatever, but that is something that I'm seeing here. It looks like if you were to walk away from something, you will not be able to return. That will be the end of that. So I don't know if that's something that you're considering. Like there's a part of you that's like, I don't know if I wanna wait around and you may be walking away from something or thinking about that, or you're looking at something and this is like a reminder for you that if you want something to happen here like if you want this to grow if you want this manifestation to materialize you're gonna have to be patient with it and if you're not patient with it and if you're like let me like look elsewhere let me venture over there then that's gonna be the end of that and you won't be able to go back into this so it like that's what I'm seeing be indicated here But maybe you want that. Maybe you're tired of waiting for something. That can definitely be the case. It can be something that the, what had internally been motivating you to participate in something, you can feel like it's kind of all dried up for you. Like whatever connection had been there was sort of like withered I do feel like maybe this had to do with the time that something was taking, potentially. Now, I'm also seeing Knight of Cups and I'm seeing Ten of Cups. This would be a conversation that you have with somebody having Ten of Cups here. This can be something that's really deeply felt. It can be a message that brings things together or that just elicits joy for you. Something that can feel very meaningful. This can also be an ongoing conversation that feels like it runs smoothly and maybe more consistent with what resembles connection for you and a sense of belonging. I do want to say again that I get this feeling like it's always so interpretive the way that cards are interpreted because the way that I read, I, I do things intuitively when it comes to the spread and how it comes out. Like no spread that I look looks like another one that I've done for the most part. It's all just where I feel like the cards are meant to go. I put them in consecutive order, but as far as what's connecting with what, I sort of just like tune into the energy and see where things go with one another. The way that I'm seeing this Eight of Cups and the Death card is feeling like there's something that you're involved in, but there may also be a possibility for you to walk away from that because you could feel like it's not sort of accruing what you're looking for, or even if it can potentially, like later down the line, it's not doing it now, and you could be like, I've waited long enough, I don't wanna wait anymore. 
like this is the deadline here. It feels like one of those moments that can be happening. At the same time, this also looks like there is something that's coming through and it feels like the whole reason that you would leave something or walk away from something is because you're looking for a deeper connection. And even if that means I have to surrender something completely and I can't go back into it, at the same time, it looks like there's some type of connection that you, like what you were looking for, you would find that in stepping forward. That's what I see. And I'm wondering if this is somebody that's coming through that you feel like it's, it's going to be a conversation that you have, a message that you receive, somebody coming through. It's going to be some type of connection and it looks like it's between two people and it seems very much like what is being presented to you. It feels very magnetizing whatever this is. And it feels like it's sort of what you have been looking for. Now, I'm also seeing too that we have the lovers here. So this can be relationship choices that are coming up. There can be just themes that are connected with partnerships in general, people in general, what type of relationship you're gonna feel happy within and talking about things that matter to you. Because this feels like with Knight of Cups and Ten of Cups, it feels like a conversation about like, what is my ideal? Like, what do I want to be experiencing? What will feel like joy? What will feel internally aligned for me? And specifically within the context of a relationship because of having the lovers here, you know, it can be like my, my dream person will be like this or our dynamic or our situation will be like that. And it feels like from a very like this isn't the flashy stuff that's being spoken about this feels like the internal stuff like i'm looking for somebody that i can connect with emotionally or i i crave this type of intimacy it feels like that type of thing that's coming up and it, it feels like a very like everything being put out on the table connected with that theme like those things being discussed those things being spoken about Having the lovers and having nine of swords can feel like there's a choice that needs to be made, but it can feel like a difficult choice. It can feel like a scary choice. It can feel too like worried about what's going on and what's going to be happening. But this feels like, like worrying about what's going to happen with a relationship that you have. What choice is going to be made? That can be part of it as well. I get this as being like more concerned and worried about like what's to come, what's going to be happening in relation to a relationship that you've already been participating within, like you've already invested in this relationship. I'm seeing that be in the center. Okay. Nine of Cups and Five of Pentacles can be like, you know what you want, but you feel like you don't have that. Like, I know what I'm craving. I know what I desire. I know what's important to me. I know what I'm looking for. But Five of Pentacles can be like, but I, I don't have that. Or I don't know if I'm going to be able to find that in this situation. Or like, is this impossible for me to experience and you can feel like alone in this thing that you want it can be like that type of thing and there can also be a big fear that's associated with change
I do feel like you're gonna move in a, a direction of something that feels like it's gonna be the answer for you. But you could have felt like you had no other option than to do this. With Five of Pentacles and the Death card, you could have been like, I really want this situation that I'm in. I want this to change. I see Five of Pentacles as being more so like connected with your environment, like more external things, but stuff that you can be feeling like you don't like the way that that is or that's not ideal for you and you don't want to be in that position like that's not something that you want to continuously be experiencing and so you can look to the death card and be like i just got to surrender because i don't know what else to do here like you can feel like it's the only option it's the only hope that you have and that you have to move in the direction of what calls to you of what speaks to you so I, I wonder if just themes themes surrounding that are what's coming up for you because of feeling like that's the way that you're going to find what you're looking for. Overcoming obstacles connected with your pursuit of happiness. Needing to ground your energy because I'm definitely seeing you be very concerned about what looks like the fate of a relationship. And also something coming through about finding what you are looking for and potentially having to surrender something in order for that to materialize. I do get the feeling though, this Knight of Wands feels important. I feel like this is a warning that you don't need to act on something so quickly that you're going to look back and be like regretting that but at the same time like maybe you won't this feels like just making sure that you take the time to think about something but i get the feeling that like something happens or or someone comes through or there's a conversation and it sparks something within you that makes you want to run in that direction like it just something resonates with you and i'm seeing the part of you that's like recognizing that immediately feeling magnetized towards that immediately like that type of thing i'm seeing it elicit that feeling from within you and this can even be like having some type of emotional connection or conversation with someone or like somebody that's trying to connect with you or something along the lines of that simultaneously i'm also seeing what looks like a relationship that you have going on that you have invested in but you can also be feeling like there's stuff going on that you don't really know what's going to be happening in the future. And having temperance and having nine of swords feels like needing to sort of get it together and ground your energy because if you're heightened, you're not gonna be seeing things clearly. And I feel like you're, I feel like there's a, a heightened feeling about something. It can even be like a desperation that you're experiencing, but you can feel like not totally grounded while you're in that space of feeling this. And so it's not going to be a great time to be decision making. I'm seeing that definitely be pointed out here. And also, too, there can be a part of you that's feeling like, I don't know if you're feeling what you did want before is now going through some type of transformation or shift, but you can also be feeling, too, like there's this potential... I don't know I can see this happening both ways <sighs> 
I wonder if there's a fear that if if you do make a choice to walk away from something and like you're not able to go back into it like that's that where it's like okay that will be a final door closing and I like it feels even though this sounds really severe to say it feels like you'll never be able to go back into that cycle again like that really will be the door shutting and there can be a fear of like if I walk away from this thing that that didn't fully come to fruition yet which it feels like there's still potential within something but you could be like getting bored with how long something is taking like the timing of it you can be looking at something that didn't fully come to fruition yet and it looks like something else is popping up at that time and it's like if you close the door on something you won't be able to go back into it so if you leave or if you look elsewhere and something doesn't work out and it looks like that's part of the fear of this like what if i close the door on something and this is one of those moments where i think the grass is going to be greener on the other side what if it's not greener on the other side and then i can't go back into this it's feeling like that type of thing Having temperance above the lovers is feeling like do not make an impulsive choice here within a relationship. You need to you need to make sure that you're grounded and that you're thinking something through. Like do not make a snap judgment type of decision here. If that's like the only takeaway, I feel like that's one of the main things being highlighted here cuz again, you could be out of sorts about something and then make a choice when it's like first you needed to ground and then you could have tackled that rather than trying to tackle something when you're not in the right mental space and then like the you that's grounded wouldn't have made that choice Maybe you need some solo time to think about this. Like, what's the right move for you to be making here? Like, actually. about a potential door opportunity having justice and the hermit is just about spending time reflecting on something long enough that you know that you're sort of like level-headed with the way that you're perceiving things and that it's an accurate as actual as accurate as your per perception perception can be when it comes to this I'm seeing Cancer, I'm seeing Sagittarius, I'm seeing Scorpio, and I'm seeing Gemini. I also saw Aries on the bottom of the deck at one point, and that stuck out to me too. I get the feeling too that no matter what you end up doing here, having Justice and the Hermit is feeling like you have to do right by yourself. And if you are actually doing right by yourself, that means you will also be doing right by everybody else, like at a high level. Regardless of relative perspectives of this, it feels like with Justice and the Hermit, it's thinking about what is the, the actual right way for me to go through this. It may be... I'm being challenged to do something difficult here, but this is the right way. It's like, feels like it's challenging sort of that, that moral and emotional compass of yours to make sure that you move through this in the right way and do the right thing with this opportunity that it seems like you're learning more about. But 
yeah, I get the sense of needing to make sure that you're doing right by you, genuinely. So you make sure that when it comes to like what your intuition is telling you, what your higher self is telling you, that you're actually doing something that feels cohesive. You're doing something that is actually aligned for you to be doing. Ace of Wands and Ten of Cups is about moving in the direction of something that feels aligned, something that feels happy to you, something that brings about a sense of internal Ace of Wands and Ten of Cups is doing the thing that makes you happy. But not from a, this isn't like from a selfish place. This is from a place of what is authentically going on within my heart? What is that communicating with me as far as what's in deep resonance with me internally and making that choice? Like what's connected with my deeper sense of fulfillment that is very much below the surface and making a choice that is going to be something where you can expand upon your pursuit of happiness so you make a choice where there's like a lot of potential for it to sort of like meet your needs whatever those things may be you know like maybe you're making a choice for your peace or for your sanity or you're making a choice because you're you want to build a relationship that has like a deeper sense of intimacy like so many different ways that this can be and it really just depends on you and what what you're feeling within your heart and what you're looking for but it feels like choosing that option like the thing that's going to really internally resonate with you Justice and Six of Wands is about there being a victory when you do the right thing. And it also shows to, like, you will, you will come, up, come out of something successfully or you will move through something successfully as long as you are doing the right thing when you're moving through it and making sure that you are doing it in a balanced way where it's like, I'm not just picking this from an intellectual standpoint where my emotions are not involved or I'm not only making an emotional choice here. This is gonna be an integration of your head and your heart and then being on the same page, getting your energy to the point where they are actually on the same page and then moving through a situation aligned with that, with that type of integration. And then you're gonna feel like you are connected with yourself as you're moving through this. I get an innate sense of balance that you have within you on how to handle things like this. It just feels like it's a matter of tapping into that. What you need in thinking about that. And also too, learning more so about like what makes you happy or what brings you joy or what is representative or reflective of peace within your life or deeper resonance all right my friends we are going to leave the reading here i would like to thank everyone for connecting thank you for tuning in i'm sending everybody love and i hope to catch you guys next time